when you get off work and you start raiding the pantry is when all goes downhill. Seriously, okay? It doesn't matter who you are. It's something about the psychological just relaxation, the letdown when you get off work that you drop your guard and you just start snacking. Like you go home and you just you inadvertently just grab food. You just are just doing it and you don't even know why. And the reality is we have to put some stops in place that emotionally and physically keep this from occurring. So what I want to explain in this video is a couple of quick things that you can do to make it so you don't go raid the fridge as soon as you walk in the door or right when you get off work. You are tuned into the internet's leading performance, nutrition, and fat loss channel. New videos every single Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 7 a.m. Pacific time and a bunch of other videos in between. There's a subscribe button that I need you to hit so you never miss a beat. And also there's a little bell icon that you can turn on and turn notifications on so that you always see when I post a new video or whenever I do a live broadcast. Now, after this video is over, I encourage you to check out Thrive Market. So the cool thing with Thrive is I've been able to create keto bundles and fasting bundles. So Thrive is like an online grocery store where you can get your groceries cheaper than most supermarkets. But the cool thing is it allows me to create my specific grocery bundles. So if you're watching a keto video of mine or you're watching a fasting video of mine or you're watching a hormone optimization video of mine, I have specific bundles of food for those categories. So it allows me to choose a grocery cart for you. So I've compiled some specific bundles, so I encourage you to check out Thrive and start getting your groceries cheaper than you would at the grocery store. But for now, let's go ahead and dive into some science. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this for a second. Right when you get off work, there's usually a guard that is dropped, okay? And I've, I've experienced it, I know lots of people that have experienced it, and I've seen it come up in comments and I've seen it come up in multiple situations where everything just goes downhill after they have dinner or after they get home. It's like you do really good throughout the course of the day and then it's like the second you get home, you just drop your guard. You see, what it is is a lot of times we're living in the prefrontal cortex during the day, okay? We're living in this, uh, this frame of mind or this portion of the brain that's causing us to be very logic oriented. And when we're living in that prefrontal cortex and we're very logic oriented, it's easy to be disciplined because we are at a plan. We are data driven. We're doing our job and food is just a system. We're not gonna necessarily be snacking on things we shouldn't be snacking on throughout the whole day. But when we get home, we drop our guard and it's there and we can just start eating whatever. So a couple of simple things that I always say. Keep some kind of high fat food in your car for you to eat on the way home. Even if you have a brand new Ferrari and you don't want to eat inside that car, eat it before you get in the car, okay? It's not simply because fats satiate you from the mechanical side of things. They legitimately do something hormonally. They increase the production of what's called CCK, cholecystokinin, okay? And it takes about 15 minutes for that CCK to actually hit your brain and really have a solid effect. So for example, if you were to go home and then dive into some coconut oil, you would have 15, 20 minutes before that coconut oil would actually have a satiating effect, meaning you could do a lot more damage in that short period of time because you haven't had the satiating effect yet. The moment that your workday is done and you get in the car or you drive home is when you should start implementing this strategy, simply because you're still in that logic portion of your brain. You're still wired for data, for planning, for whatever is structured. So make it part of your structure so that way when you get home, you don't have the physiological response, okay? Now, the other thing, and this sounds totally wild, the next thing that you can do is before you have dinner or right when you get home, if, if, and this is a big if, you're going to have something sweet, have something with your sugar alcohols then, okay? So sugar alcohols meaning like erythritol and things like that. If you're gonna have like some um, Lily's chocolate chips or some Lakanto monk fruit chocolate or something like that, this sounds crazy, but have it before dinner. Why? The sugar alcohols will cause a little bit of a satiety effect, okay? They're gonna draw water in. I don't recommend that you use sugar alcohols as a tool all the time. Okay, you don't wanna be living in an area where you have just like constant osmotic effect of water getting drawn into your colon, but you do wanna have a little bit because it's going to keep you from munching on a bunch of things. And it's just not realistic. I know that it's not always realistic to walk in the door and eat broccoli right when you walk in the door to get a satiating effect there. Have your little piece of erythritol sweetened chocolate or sugar alcohol sweetened chocolate because it's going to draw the water in and that's gonna make it so that you're nice and satiated. Lastly, is having a little bit of decaf green tea laying around, okay? Decaf green tea is powerful stuff because you're still getting the benefit of green tea, but you're getting it without the caffeine. You still have the theanine effect. Now you could pop a theanine capsule, 
Okay, that can work too. But the nice thing is you get the catechins that are in green tea. So you have a, just a multitude of different things that are occurring that are helping you out as far as cravings go. Now, I notice a very profound effect whenever I have decaf green tea, and I usually start having it after about 2 or 3 p.m. Okay, so even if you make it iced and you make a picture of it that's sitting in your fridge, it just makes a big difference. And it may not be tangible or realistic for everybody to make decaf green tea, but I do promise you that the theanine has a powerful effect on the GABA and glutamate system within your brain. You see, you have GABA aminobutyric acid and you have glutamate. Most of our brains at the end of the day are strongly tilted towards the glutamate side. Glutamate is the excitable portion of the brain, okay? When we're wired up, we're high in that glutamate state. Now, after a hard day of work, your brain is tilted heavy towards the glutamate state. You're anxious, you're wired up, it's just, it's got a lot of excitotoxic activity going on and we need to bring that down. And we don't wanna just be popping gamma aminobutyric acid pills all day. We wanna do something that's gonna help stimulate the natural production of GABA. And that's where theanine comes in. It'll help you wind down from the day in a similar way that alcohol would, but without the negative effects of that. So you don't feel like you need to go home and binge. A lot of times coming home and binging is some kind of emotional crossover that you're not really connecting the dots with. It's usually a psychological letdown or reprieve less than it is a physiological response to being hungry. So I know that these are three random tips, but they're off the cuff and they're things that I've done in the past, and I hope they help you out. And if you like simple videos like this where I just come up with ideas that work for me, let me know down in the comment section below. Until next time, keep those cravings at bay. See you soon.